Welcome to IBC 2018. We're at Fujifilm together with Mark and we're going to talk about, well, lenses and cameras. Red Shark at IBC 2018 is brought to you by... Mentos! Adobe! Black Magic Design. So the first thing really that we want to talk about is um, SLR Magic have made an anamorphic adapter. Now this was shown off at Cine Gear, um, but now we've actually got some samples who are actually able to test it and try it out. So one of the downsides was the fact that you had to focus separately to the lens, whereas we have this PD Movie rig here, so you can actually get over that problem by having the, the focuses um, synchronized together. So initial thoughts on this lens, we've had a few filmmakers have a play around with it, and it is very, very good, especially for the kind of price. So we're quite excited that the MK lenses themselves are you know, for emerging filmmakers, for people just getting into it, or for owner operators. And now there's actually a viable option to have a, you know, a, a, a try at trying some anamorphic uh, shooting at a very reasonable price. I think the, the motors are around $900 and the, the um, adapter is about, I think it's about $1,800. So on top of the lens, which is not a great deal either, you've got yourself a pretty compact and cost-effective anamorphic solution. So this is the first time really that like, it's actually big, it's viable that you can shoot anamorphic on a zoom lens for like for yeah let about six six eight thousand dollars yeah so you can afford thing. it yes yeah. exactly ten thousand dollars and you've got uh, two lens two zoom lenses yeah so it's yeah in, in, it's it's we're, we're hoping it's going to make uh, well it's, it's getting a lot of interest so i hope it's going to make some waves and maybe there's some more people that haven't switched to mk already because they don't particularly like spherical that might now think of it as an option that's great that's great news so, so another, another thing we have is the, uh, so on this EVA 1, Panasonic EVA 1, which is obviously a new camera and very popular, uh, it's EF mount. The, there is a wooden camera um, mount alteration that you can do, but it does mean disassembling and reassembling the camera. So Panasonic warranty, not really sure what's going to happen there. So we've come at it from a different approach. We want to get our lenses onto this camera because we know that filmmakers are enjoying this. So here we have uh, an XK2120, which just happens to be the same lens that's been sh this film's been shot with. Really? <laughs> yes, you knew that. Oh. <laughs> so uh, it's the XK20-120, which is a PL mount lens, 3.5 with no ramp in. Um, and it's got a, uh, an IBE universal mount system. So basically, you have to take off the PL mount, replace it with IBE's mount. It's been tested on all of our Cabrio lenses. It works fine. Then you, once you've done that, you can attach various different mounts. So you can use it on an E, you can use it on FZ, you can use it on EF. Um, and we've, again, had a few filmmakers that are very, very interested because they love what's coming out of the EVA 1, but they can also use our Cabrio uh, zoom lenses. So this is another thing that's just hitting the market. Very, I, I don't know exactly when IBE are announcing it or releasing it, but it's going to be very, very soon. This is a final production copy that we have here. Really interesting stuff. And then, that's all, right? That's not all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had, there's a gentleman, testing our cameras. <laughs> so, a couple of weeks ago, we had a, uh, an announcement for the X-T3. So, this is a, uh, a mirrorless camera that's made by Fujifilm. It's the first 4K 60 frames per second, 10-bit camera that will record internally as well. So um, obviously we've already had our MKX lenses, yep. so the MK, um, MK, exactly the same as our E-mount MK, apart from they have contacts now, so the camera is getting information from the lens. Uh, it's still completely manual, uh, still manual focus, manual aperture, manual barrel, um, so fully compatible. And obviously the X-T3 now is, is for around 15, well, how many euros? It's 1,500 pounds. Yeah. What's yeah. that? 16, 1,700 euros. Yeah. It's a very, very good camera, and it, you know, again, it's brand new, so people are trying to work out how it performs. But we know that it's, you know, we're very confident it's going to perform very well. Cool. So the other things we uh, for announcing, do we want to move to the other location? I think that's a good idea, then. Yeah. So move, yeah. Let's let's have a quick move to our broadcast bit. We 
we are filming still. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> hi, Bass. How are you? Yeah, good. Nice to see you. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, other new products at IBC 2018. So we did a pre-announcement for this lens uh, during NAB. Yeah. So this is the first time we've actually had it for people to test. So it's a 46 times uh, broadcast lens. Uh, it's replacing our old 42 times HD lens. And we know that people like helicopter rigs or small stadiums uh, are going to find this uh, very, very good lens. It's got a completely newly designed ground up drive unit. So much faster focus, uh, much faster uh, zooming uh, and smoother operation, and it's got a new OAS as well, which is again newly designed. So, very very popular product should be available hopefully at the beginning of 2019. We've also got a slightly longer version. So this is a 46 by 9.5. We've also got a 46 by 13.5. We don't have one on demo here, um, but that will be out a few months after. Um, and then the final product that's, that's new, very newly announced, is our 70 times studio box lens. Um, so it's very, very similar to what's already in our range, in our 4K HDR range. Um, the main real sort of selling point here is it is a, bit, a little bit more cost effective. So if you don't need 107 times zoom uh, for whatever projects you're working on, then this is a, a, another alternative within our portfolio of 4K uh, TV lenses. Great stuff. A lot to chew in. Lots to chew in. Sorry if I've <laughs> over done too much. No, that's great. Thanks. Thank you a lot. Yeah. Thank you. If you don't want to miss anything from IBC 2018, then make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Come on, hit that button. <laughs>